Hi friends, it's James and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is part 5 in creating a Discord bot in Python. In the last episode, in part 4, we went over how to get your bot to play an audio file. In this video, we're going to be going over how to pause our bot from playing an audio file, how to resume it from an audio file, and how to get it to completely stop playing an audio file. So pause, resume and stop. Just before we jump into how we actually make this, I just wanted to quickly say that I've got a Discord server. And on this Discord server, you can ask questions relating to your Discord bot. Or if you have no questions, then you could potentially help someone else out. Or if you don't want to do any of that, then you can just have a chat. Anyway, yeah, so the link for that server will be in the description. Please do consider joining. So then, let's get started. Okay then, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a pause command. And so to do this, we're going to do what we did in the previous episodes. We're going to create a new command. So what we could do is we could just copy um, the previous part of the command, just the intro bit, copy it, and then paste it just down here below. And then we want to rename what that previous command was. Uh, so in this case, what we copied, it was called leave. We want to name it pause. There we go. And then we want to come down here. And this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets new. So what we're going to type is this. We're going to type voice is equal to discord dot utils like that dot get open and close brackets client dot voice underscore client and then comma and then guild is equal to ctx dot guild. And now let me just quickly go over what this means, what this is doing. So then what we're doing is essentially we're calling the Discord package, Discord PY, and then we're calling the utils part of it. And then we're calling the voice client. So what our Discord bot is currently in, what it's currently playing, what song it's currently playing. And now we need to tell it to pause it. And so to do this, what we're going to do this, we're first going to write an if statement. OK, so this is where it gets interesting. This is where we get to write some new code. So what we're going to type first is we're going to write an if statement. And this if statement is going to check if our bot is currently playing an audio file. So to do this, what we could do is this. We could type if voice dot is underscore playing. I can't spell. Open and close brackets and then a colon. And then we can type voice dot pause and then open and close brackets again. And then we need to um, do the other part of the if statement, the else part. So we need to type else, colon, and then await, space, ctx.send, open and close brackets. And then you could just type a message, anything really that says around the lines of there's no audio playing. So what I'm gonna type is, um, at the moment, there is no audio playing in the voice channel. There we go. And so now let me just quickly go over this. Okay then, so what we're saying is if the voice bot, our Discord bot, is playing an audio file, then pause it. Else, if it's not playing any audio file, then it will return a message saying this. There we go, so now this will work. So then, let me now show you how to create a resume command. Because if we were going to run this now and we were to test it out in our server, then the bot would be like continuously paused, as in we would have no we would have no way to unpause it to resume it. So we need to create that function so we can resume it when we pause it. So let's do this now. So again, we can copy the client, the bit that creates the command. We can copy that because it will save us time when writing it out. If we copy it and then paste it, and then we want to come down here and rename it like we just did previously. So we're going to give it the name resume. And then down here, we're going to also copy this line again because it will save some time as in there's no point writing it out twice. And it does exactly the same thing. And now we're going to write another if statement. We're going to type if voice dot is underscore paused, open and close brackets, and then a colon, and then voice dot resume, open and close brackets, and then else, and then colon, and then we're going to type a message again. So we're going to type await dot a space, sorry, ctex dot send, 
open and close brackets, speech marks, and then a message here saying something around the lines of there's currently no audio paused. So I'm going to say at the moment, no song is paused like that. So now let me just quickly go over what this is doing as I didn't explain it when going through. So I've already spoken what this voice um, uh, variable does as we went over what it does when we built the pause command. So what we're saying here in this if statement is, is we're saying if the um, audio file that is currently playing is paused, then to resume it. Else, let's say, so else if it is currently playing, so as in it's not paused, it will return a message saying, at the moment, no song is paused. And I've just realized I have misspelt send here. So don't make the same mistake that I did. And I just misspelt it again. There we go. I can now properly spell. So now we can pause and resume our bot. So let's test it out. So we can run our bot and then we can head over to Discord. Python 4, yes, Python 4, it definitely exists. It doesn't, by the way. Uh, there we go. So yeah, let's head over to Discord. So then we're inside Discord, as you can see. And let's just join a voice channel. So we're now in a voice channel. And we're going to come down here and get our bot to join the voice channel. And when we get it to join, it should play an audio file, as that's what we covered in a previous episode of this series. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run the pause and the resume command. So let's do this. So let's do um, our prefect and then join. There we go. Our bot's joined. And it's playing audio. There we go. And now so let's try and pause it. So exclamation mark pause. And the song is actually so short that um, by the time I ran the pause command, it already ended. So let's just try this again. So let's make it leave. And this time I'll be a bit quicker. So... Oh, that's taking a long time for it to send for some reason. There we go. Now it's left. Okay, then. So let's run it again. So let's get our bot to join. There we go. And this time I'll be a lot quicker to join. But here it is playing our file. And now let's quickly get it to pause. There we go. It worked. Look, our bot paused. It paused in the middle of the song. And now let's get it to resume just to check that it works. So let's try our function that we create. That was called resume. And then hopefully it should get it to play again. It did! There we go, it works! We've got it so our bot can now pause and resume audio files. So now let's get it when we type stop, it will completely stop playing that audio file. So we're now back inside, so let's create the stop command. So again, we can just copy this to save us some time because there's no point writing it out twice. There we go, and we can rename this again, and we want to give it the name stop. And then we want to come down here and again also we want to copy uh, this line because um, it's identical for every time and yeah so again there's no point writing it out as this just saves time by copying and pasting and now this is very simple we don't have to write an if statement or anything like that all we have to type is voice dot stop open and close brackets and then save the file and that's it now everything will work so let's test it out Let's head back to Discord. So let's join it and then I'll quickly run the stop command. This time I'll make sure to run it before the song actually ends. So get our bot to join. There he is playing and let's type stop. There we go, it worked. Our bot stopped playing the audio file. And then just to prove that it actually stopped, let's run the resume command just to prove that it hasn't paused. And see, there you go. At the, it was returned with, at the moment, no song is paused. And that's exactly what we wanted it to do. We've now got our bot to pause, resume and stop playing audio files. So one thing I just actually noticed is, is that when our bot actually stops playing the audio file, at the moment, there's no way for our bot, for us to get our bot to play another file. So let's actually build that now. Let's build that now so we can get our bot to play an audio file when we type a command. So it's not just when it joins a server. So then what we're going to do to create this play command, we're going to create a, another command like we did before. So we can copy and paste that. And then we want to rename this function to play. And now um, in here, what we want to type is we want to type voice is equal to ctx.guild.voice underscore client. And what we want to type next is we can actually copy this. So we can come up here to our join um, function that we wrote and we can copy the source line. 
we copy that and come back down here and paste it. And then below here, we can type player is equal to voice dot play open and close source. And there we go. That is everything we need to get our bot to play the audio file again when we type the play command. But let's say that you have more than one audio file in your directory and you want to have the ability to specify to your bot what audio file to play. Well then, let's do this now. Let me show you how to set this up. So what we want to do is we want to come here and after the CTX, we want to add a comma and then we want to type arg just like that. And then we can come down here to this line, the source line. And inside of these brackets, we can remove the single quotes and we can just replace it with arg just like this. And then we can save it. And then that should now work. So let's head to Discord. So now in Discord, if we type the command play, and then you want to type the name of your audio file. So in my case, this is piano dot wav and hopefully when we click enter our bot should start playing that audio file <gasps> yes which it does so what's the point of this why would we want to do this so let's say you had another file called trumpet.wav or another one called um, earhorn.wav well, well then, then you have the ability to specify which one you want to play which is a really cool thing to do and another thing that I just thought of is if all of your audio files have the same ending, as in if they all in this end in the same extension .wav, then you can save yourself some time. You, after this arg function here, you can add a plus and then colons um, like we just did before .wav. So what this does is, is that you don't have to enter the extension each time. So let's say your audio files were piano.wav trumpet.wav, eartrumpet.wav, and all you'd have to do is, in Discord, all you'd have to type is this. So you could literally just type um, play, and then piano, and what it would do is, as you can see it's now playing, we don't have to type the extension after this, because we're specifying this in the code. Just bear in mind though, that if your extensions are different and you can't do this, you could potentially create a loop where it cycles through all of the different extensions and if it finds an audio file with the name you entered on Discord with one of the file extensions, then it would play that. That is potentially something that you could do. But that now brings us to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do consider giving it a like as it would really help it out in the YouTube algorithm. And while you're down there, please do consider subscribing. But anyway, I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.